we arrived uh, to Venice. It took us uh, two hours uh, from Florence by train. Uh, now we'll go check in uh, and we'll uh, just walk and explore it. found our apartment, we rented it at Airbnb and looks like this, uh, uh, just a room with, uh, old. with a bathroom. Uh, it's really old and it's just next to the canal. So the owner said that uh, occasionally it's even being flooded, so he has to wear boots uh, to, like, go um, uh, to go outside because it's flooded. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, there is everything we basically need. This is the apartment, and here is already a canal. So we will be just uh, walking around streets to Basilica di San Marco Square, uh, which is the main square here in uh, Venice. Behind us is Chiesa di Santa Maria del Giglio. Uh, but the entrance uh, is not free for three euro. second uh, day uh, of, uh, in Venice uh, and we are gonna go and continue to explore uh, all those uh, narrow streets and channels. Uh, we had a good fight with mosquitoes at night because there are like plenty of mosquitoes and we didn't take any repellent so we had to uh, just reach uh, each single mosquito and uh, try to kill it uh, <laughs> so we didn't have too much sleep today. Uh, but it's okay, uh, we should have a great day ahead. Uh, behind us is one of the two uh, bridges over the Grand Canal here in, uh, in Venice. And so if you're walking, it might be a little bit tricky because there are only two bridges and you can't just navigate using Google Maps, you, you have to uh, look for a bridge to cross. Or uh, you can buy a day ticket for a ferry which costs 20 euro and two days ticket would cost you 30 euro.
Santa Maria della Salute Church. about the food uh, an average uh, bill uh, at the restaurant would be around 30 to 40 euro uh, for two people uh, if you order more drinks then it would be probably more uh, but cheaper way uh, to get food is to go to the grocery store which is called Coop Coop here there are a lot of them uh, and the food there is there are some like prepared foods and the food there is quite good and much much cheaper uh, each restaurant here has uh, a coperto coperto is like uh, tips and it would also cover uh, bread uh, and all those things about transportation in Venice uh, basically on the central island there are no cars uh, and no buses and uh, no trams and no, <laughs> no roads so you will have to take a ferry uh, a one ride per person is seven euro fifty cents that will allow you to travel for 75 minutes if you want more then it's a day ticket which is 20 euro or two days ticket is 30 euro uh, we just got uh, uh, a one-time pa pass for uh, 750 so paid 15 overall and uh, traveled for like maybe 40 minutes to get from point a to point b
uh, Venice and we are going to Verona. So to sum up, Venice is a great city. Uh, it's unlike any other city in the world. Uh, we've been to quite a few and this is definitely uh, uh, one of the best ones. Uh, there are no cars, only boats. Uh, the atmosphere here is really cool. But um, it's a little bit expensive. The um, hotels uh, on this main island are a little expensive. They're much cheaper uh, if you stay outside of the island. Uh, the food at the restaurants is not really cheap. The workaround here is to go to the uh, supermarket and uh, buy some prepared foods and eat it in your hotel. That would be much, much cheaper. Um, the overall, uh, at the restaurant you will spend 30 to 50 euro uh, in an inexpensive one. Uh, but that's a great experience, just walking around is really cool. We Over two days we walked around 45-50 kilometers and we just walked. We didn't take too many boats, we just walked. Uh, so we really liked it and definitely can recommend it to everyone. Just grab your bags, put some money in your pocket and come here.